Previously, and no rules either. Previously, last week, on Cocti, the heroes returned to Avernus and helped Gelbor or whatever, and immediately attacked the former Archduke of Avernus, Bell, Rude, right after warping through his Barovian wardrobe. I mean, he, he kind of deserved it. Man has slaves. Oh, well, about that, you, you made a mistake. They're slaves, but they're not the slaves you think. We return to the fight as the chains of the three fire giants fall away and approach to defend Bell. The terrible pit fiend makes a final gesture at diplomacy. Look, I, I don't want to fight you. Let's be, go ahead and be friends, all right? Let's be friends and go ahead and um, go ahead and stop attacking me. Thank you very much. All right, will you, will you please stop attacking me? All right, please? Does he look hurt? Uh, well, you see like a perfectly round disintegrated ball where you cast disintegrated out of his like, you see like a hole in his chest. Oh, yes. You know when like Frieza like finger beams someone and they get like a hole through their their torso? Yep. That's what you did to him. All right. Uh. What what is there to gain from you know taking down Bell? Uh, I'd say there'd be nothing to gain because you can't beat me. You could never take me down, so I suggest you don't even try it. Is that a challenge? No, it's definitely not a challenge. It's just a fact, and I think you would be wise to appreciate facts, even in this age of fake news. And uh, even, you know, just at the beginning of the session, uh, God said that there are no facts. There are no rules. <laughs> and therefore, I, I, I cannot follow those. No facts, no yeah, you yeah, bringing up a really good point. I wouldn't want to, well, you know what, I really uh, see how this has come back and uh, been turned on back on towards me. Hmm. <laughs> I really did not see if I see the circumstance for, oh dear. As I was saying, what is there to gain from defeating Bell? Status? Money? What? 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 Um, I would say you know Bell to be the displaced ruler of Avernus. So while he has been tasked by Asmodeus, the ruler of the Nine Hells, to help Zeriel and her position as the new Archduke, uh, Archduke of Avernus, um, you know that the power struggles here in Avernus, it's like layers on layers. It's like an onion of deceit and treachery. So... Mm, uh, I mean, really, just like involving yourself in this complex web is going to be uh, uh, deadly, if not outright fatal. Is there any benefit whatsoever? Well, the benefits are pretty steep, actually. You could get like untold power and rule of earnest for like a thousand years if you're able to seize Bell's uh, foundry and then somehow wage war against Zeriel and then dethrone her. It's a possibility. There's like a bunch of like cool, valuable stuff in here too, like a bunch of soul coins and powerful weapons. You know that Bell's probably like the uh, weapon manufacturer of, you know, anyway, one of the best around anywhere the material planes. Obviously, the benefits are outweighing the cons. <laughs> Well, there's a there, lot there. to be gained here. I, you know, you do a hard day's work, put a little elbow grease and murder a, a few people, and hey, you could take this for yourself. I am. No, I'll, I'll fight Bill. Um, why, since you were the one who has um, really just uh, initiated and began, well, besides the disintegrate, really just started slapping and stunning the shit out of Bell here, um, are you going to listen to his pleas of a uh, diplomatic out here, or are you going to continue to paralyze the shit out of him? Uh, he's—is he not already paralyzed? 
He is paralyzed, but um, uh, he's asking you to stop it. Stop it. There's nothing. He's not doing any check or anything. He's going to make a check. I'm, I'm going to have us re-roll initiative if we decide to continue. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's soul coin weapons, the possibility of being able to rule over Avernus. Obviously, I'm not going to stop just because he's like, oh, no, don't hurt me. Yeah. Oh. Stop it. If he was no. so confident, yeah, if he was confident in his skills to beat us, he wouldn't be pleading. No, guys, Adrian? Not man. Adrian's doing this? No. Slippy is attacking with Dolo, so yes. Adrian is retired. Oh. You look over and you see Adrian, uh, Jander Sunstrider, Rocky the Fire Giant, and uh, Gilmore, all like with pom poms, rah rah, and you guys on. Oh. And then Go. might as well start the car again. All right, let's roll up some initiative since you guys have decided, hey, you know what the best thing? Uh, yo, let's kill this guy. Somebody, you know, a real aggressive fucking teammate did this. Actually, it's not Adrian. I don't have to do shit. Take my steps back. Oh, interesting. You're going to go, why well, it's going to go ahead and disengage? It's nothing to do with me. He didn't attack me in any way. Why did you attack him, uh, Milk? Oh, Slippy's thirst for knowledge. So no, no real reason then. Oh, not exactly. Other than the fact that Bell is just a very terrible person who shouldn't exist at the moment, and it kind of interferes with what Slippy wants to do in the future. It has no real consequence to you personally. Sweet. So yeah, I'm just gonna be here, letting that happen, but staying out of it. Hi, Giant. Remove your gimp suits and defend me, or I refuse to whip you until these heroes are defeated. At that point, a bunch of gimp, um, a bunch of like gimp fire giants, like get out of the lava and like. Of course uh, they're gimps. Uh, of course on, they're fucking us, gimps. Please, no. There had to be a weird uh, sexual element to it. No, 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 what slaves. You will defeat them. Why do I have fifty health? Oh, you got jumped by the um, Obatala's assassins that were hiding in the praise parade. Oh, fuck that bitch. I'm, I'm going to cut her head off. <laughs> that's that's the latest thing. Got a sword. Right. I got a score to settle with that bitch. Absolutely. Obviously. All right. So these guys are going to go ahead and roll fire giant uh, initiative. Am I? Are they attacking me in any way? Uh, no, um, they're going to walk right by you and head for the person that cast uh, Disintegrate in Bell's face. All right. How many fire giants are there? There are three, as you took one of the fire giants on a vacation to Barovia. Okie dokie. Uh, hmm. Okay. And actually, this fire giant wouldn't know that you've disengaged Bell because he kind of just saw you slap him a little bit. And he was, uh, yeah, I mean, needless to say, this fire giant's going to ask you for some slaps, too. So we got 14, 11, and oh, you guys. Okay, so. I did not get an initiative from you, Wise. You are going to be attacked. So I'm being attacked right yes, now. Yes, one of the fire giants is attacking you. He. Well, I'm not releasing the paralyzed. Fuck that guy. Okay. Fuck me, tight for nothing. I mean, this guy can choke on it. Oh, and I do not still didn't roll initiative. Right. Please do, sir. Wait, selecting my token. Initiative. There we go. That bitch right there is still paralyzed. Alright, I have a plan. I think yep. it's a pretty good plan. 
just for don't forget you're not adrian you can't fight you can't charge in a fight like he did you know just oh no i this was a, a very big slip at first I, I didn't actually mean to get into this fight but i'm here now so i fondly forget that i'm not adrian anymore but mm -hmm. i gotta go through with it now and there are benefits to this one so Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just cast disintegrate on the end game boss. You know what happens? Yeah, Why? You mess up, and I can admit that I did mess up. Why? I, Come I on. Playing a you no know, peaceful, calm, pacifist character, and uh, yeah, it takes some getting used to after playing nothing but you know murder hobo. Mur you know murder hobo's fine, and frankly, you know what? It's okay. It's fine. It's good. In fact, the DM loves it when you do these kind of things. It's fine. I, I can find a way out of this. Nope. The fire giant's going to take a swing with a seven. That's where I'm He's got plus 11 to hit. 18 to hit on UI. Done hit. 18 misses. All right. I think he gets two attacks. Makes two attacks. Second attack is going to be a 20. Uh, hits. 6d6 slashing. Alright, I'm going to fuck. Uh, reactions. Gonna be 21 damage. Uh, I'm going to. And it is Slippy's turn. What are you doing? Okay. I don't know, I forgot my reactions. Uh, first thing I'm doing, the bell is still paralyzed, correct? Bell is still paralyzed, yes. So You're real like shitty. smacked out the sky or is he just paralyzed up there? He's still floating on his chair. I was thinking about it earlier today on whether or not he'd be able to control his chair while paralyzed since he's still kind of like touching his flaming sword thing, which I feel like would be a joystick, but... Yeah, I'm just going to say, instead of falling, he just, like, kind of spins listlessly. All right. So, now to put my plan into action. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to have Dolos take the turn on my turn, so. This is just why I did roll initiative. Okay. So, first thing I'm doing is having Dolos uh, polymorph. So, he's going to polymorph into three sperm whales. <laughs> I was just watching videos of sperm whales and was thinking, those aren't real. That's amazing. Why would they swallow so much water? That's crazy. Yeah. Um, usually you would think, oh, no, why are you using a marine animal in a perfectly dry place? Uh -huh. So like 50 feet and then just drop and uh, sperm whales in the uh, player handbook are gargantuan bees. oh shit so we got gargantuan sperm whales getting spawned on here this is crazy man Giants. All right. I love technology. It's my favorite thing in the world. Try and tell me succinctly what you want to do here, Mel, because you're splitting in and out a little bit now. All right. So. <laughs> you you want to okay, land yeah. sperm whales on top of all these fire giants? Yep. Yeah, have them 50 feet in the air each, and then land each sperm whale on each fire giant. There's three of each, right? So three fire giants, three sperm whales. So one for each of them. And they magically, Dolos like, <laughs> gets spun up in the air, splits into three and giant, three giant sperm whales fall back down on top of these guys. Um, 
Let's go ahead and say it's going to be similar to falling damage for 50 feet. So but then they also weigh a lot. I don't know how they're going to get out from under that in the first place. They might like be. They're gargantuan creatures. They might be a little bit grappled, a little, a little grappled, um, a little bit stuck under there. They can stay under there and suffocate. All right, let's go ahead and roll uh, 5d6 for the whale falling on the fire giant damage. Yeah, just <laughs> these uh, sperm whales land on each of these fire giant and like you see the ground crack and lava start to boil up from the ground below. They're all going to take that. Oh, 21. Oh, wait, there's actually a, a chart for falling stuff. So if something weighs 200 pounds or more and it falls 10 feet, that's 20 D6 for those 10 feet. So since it was 50 feet of the 200 pounds or no more, way. That, yeah, that's 2, 4, 6, 8. So 100 D6. That's a lot more. Yes. Hmm. All right, so this is a pretty interesting improvised attack. Let's go 75d6. I'll accept. <laughs> and we'll say each of the fire giants, uh, they see it coming, so they're kind of able to dive. So just their like torso and arms and head are sticking out from the whale. So they're not immediately just like crushed to death. They should be. Shit. Besides, you can just keep floating back up and dropping back down. So. <laughs> Those sperm whales just start like flopping up and down, crushing them like walruses. Absolutely. I love the uh, elephant seal sound. It's just pure <laughs> sexual aggression. <laughs> God. <laughs> you know how elephant seals crush their own children? Just so they can go mate with the female? Like, they don't care about the kids. Get her dead. Yeah, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that either. I see zero problems. I mean, if we were able to do that as humans, it'd be a better world, but frankly. Like, like elephant seal fights are just so aggressive. All right, we got to have the difference between this because I can't let these sperm whales just completely end this fight right now. So what's halfway between 24 and 250? We'll say 100. Which is not Could halfway. Just let them but... <laughs> It'd be cooler if you did. It's a hell of an attack. So yeah, they all take uh, 100 damage each and get pinned by these sperm whales. These poor fire giants. Oddly enough, you see like they smiles like and yeah, like upside down eyes. They squint with pleasure. Enjoyed a little bit too much being suffocated. Uh, maybe another fire giant's turn. He is gonna try and get up. Make a strength check. Again, if he can lift 154,000 pounds. He cannot do that. But he probably the can like. Sperm are literally the largest animal. Oh, no. like, so cute. Plus, a sperm whale is one size larger than the uh, fire giant. So that's so cool. Yeah, he could definitely not push that up. He's like trying to do a push up, like roll over, and then he's like, "Wait, maybe I can just go down in this lava and then swim away." Oh, nope. He rolled a one. He's stuck. You're up. Why? All right, I'm going to. Uh, is this guy still paralyzed or no? Bell is still paralyzed. Is uh, he rolled shitty? He's going at the bottom of the initiative order. All right. Uh, well, until he gets unparalyzed, I don't have to do shit. 
Um, so the guy who attacked me, which one is that? Just the one on top of me? Or is there another one? The no, guy on top of you to the south. The only other character on model. Right, I'm going to. Uh... No, um, Slippy is correct. They are all pinned underneath whales. Nah, that's cool. I heard that a uh, thousand some pounds. So I'm going to. Oh, is he have a? Is he have a hand outside trying to lift himself, or is he like completely pinned? He's completely pinned and like he's got two arms free and he like tried to like wedge under there and lift the whale up and he got one of his other arms stuck so now he has one arm free. All right, so one arm free. I'm going to try to cut that off. <laughs> you monster. Just, you know, in this in this try to escape bullshit he's got going on. Yeah, and I've heard of needing the hand, but this is ridiculous. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm going to add uh, three key points. Jesus. No, I'm not. It'd only be 15. I'm just going to cut his hand off normally. One, 17 hit. He is at disadvantage because he's prone and pinned, and he has a whale on top of him, so the 28 hits. Sweet. And that is that. Now, here. 14, 15 hit. Negative. Both of those miss. All right, and then uh, I'll punch him. Slap his face. 19, 19 hits. Hit. Sweet. And that's only a 12. The 7 is uh, fire stuff. All right, I've got it. All right, um, and I'm going to roll. I'm trying to stun him. All right. Um, do I roll a uh, Do I roll a save? Yep, con check. Ooh, I think I got it. Uh, that's a uh, yeah. 22. Yeah, you got it. It's 22 now. Mine is 25. Don't get out of here. Shut up. <laughs> no, it's the staff. I have to make a DC 25 constitution check? No. Yes. Stop it. Get out of here. I thought, you, I thought they had plus 10. But no, if you, if you didn't get a 25, you didn't succeed. I have a plus six, but hold on now. What are you trying to... You're trying to stun? I thought the stun was like a, a DC 12 or something. Yeah, it's like 15. <laughs> okay. All right, keep me honest. I like it. Um, That it's going to be one of the other fire giants' turn. He's going to try and extricate himself from beneath the sperm whale with a two... What's up with these fire giants that be weak as fuck? They love getting squished. They, these, you know, these fire giants are disgusting. Just love getting smothered. They, yeah, you know what? Sometimes. Another weird sexual yeah, aspect into this one. Fire giant, though. He's probably feeling real offended by that right now. I apologize. You know, this is just ridiculous. These are uh, disgusting. Uh, you know, just what do you expect to burn us? Oh my god, I apologize, everyone. Now it's going to be Bell's turn. He is going to try and resist the. Uh, Para paralyze? Resist the par... Uh, Bell is going to use a legendary resistance and float away. What? Well, he didn't resist it when it first happened, did he? Uh, no, he didn't resist it when it first happened, but he can use a legendary resistance to choose to succeed on a saving throw. Okay, mm. though. Since he already failed oh. two twice, he's going to. That. Can I use Earthbind now? I kind of held Slippy's actions since Dolos did all the work. Absolutely. I forgot that you did not take your action, Slippy. Please go ahead. Earthbind. Earthbind. What's, uh, what's that do? He can't fly now. He doesn't get a save? No. Yep. Okay. His. Chair just drops no to the ground. Boing, boing. 
He does not like touching the ground. That does not make him happy. <laughs> you know, I thought I was going to do something clever, but then I realized I'm not clever. It hurts. It does. It it stings. I have yeah, no I'm idea. Stuck on the ground, and he'd have to walk. He tries to fly anyway. And you see his huge demon devil. Oh, excuse me, devil bro f brow furrow. He hates touching the ground with his feet. Just hates it. His tail's way too long, you see, so he has to actually put effort into uh, raising his tail while he walks. So he is going to cast Meteor Swarm at y'all. Wow, that's a one mile range. That's crazy. So uh, you guys uh, don't see anything at first. It's nothing obvious. It just kind of glares at you as you as his toes like curl into the ground, and then you hear something and all look up at the same time, and you see that the sun is falling at you. Everybody, give me a dexterity saving throw, please. The sphere spreads around corners. A creature takes a shit ton of damage on a failed save and half as much on a successful one. Orb of fire plummets to the ground at four different points you can see within range. 50 foot radius of the sphere uh, centered on each point of you must, uh, all right. So each of the fire giants immediately curl over. They are knocked unconscious. So hey, this is good. I have to start rolling stuff for me now. Like it's really hard to start doing this on my phone. So. No, that's fine. I'll roll them for you. No, I don't want you to have to roll those on your phone. I forgot. Thank you. Yeah, I'll I'll do all the rolling. I have your character name right now. Very nice. But. We need to see what the spell save is. And I think it's high, and I think you all failed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a D. It's a 23. There, there was no making that. That's high. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's high. Okay, so, yeah, just uh, you guys see the sun fall on the ground right on top of you all. It's going to be 76 fire damage, and you guys are thrown across the room and land in a crater on the side of the wall of the volcano. Like in the animes, a perfectly cylindrical set of rings crack out from your indentation in the side of the volcano as you take an additional 82 damage. All right, yeah, no, Slippy died. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry, you said 82 damage. 76. And then, 82. Flippy's dead. None of us could survive that. Meteor Swarm is a hell of a uh, cast. It's a ninth level evocation.
Ellis is fine though. And as you all feel yourselves leaving your body for the first time or for the last time in Avernus, your souls stop. It's like a dark, right. fiery hand reaches and stuffs your soul back in your body as you feel your bodies lifted up through the volcanic obsidian. It's a mile long. Uh, the volcano, yes. What is? No, the uh, meteor swarm. It's a mile range. Everybody in I, a mile no, is down. No, no, not everyone within a mile. It's got a range of a mile. Like, you can shoot it for a mile away, but its radius is 40 feet. No, that's each meteor. Right, there's four different ones, I think, right? I just I just X'd out of it, so I don't have it in front of me anymore. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Gray, gray. <laughs> And your bodies are pulled up through the obsidian and pop, get raised out of shallow graves in front of the volcano where you sit all on your backsides in front of a imp called, um, Balacros. Uh, after Balacros kind of like waits over your guys' corpses for a few hours, uh, Aronis, uh flies up and uh, you guys are all brought back to life a little bit. I think Aronis has some healing spells. What devil has some healing spells? I'm, I'm dying here. There's one of them. I know it. Yeah, on that note, I'm gonna have to head out. Driving looks like it's getting kind of rough. No worries, log off, milk. You drive home safe. Let us know when you get home. We'll do. Bye. See ya. Might be a short one tonight. Jeez, this sounds like a rough drive home, huh? It was an option. I mean, I had another option. What do you mean? My other option was imprisonment, and I could have... Um, I don't think it's like a banish. I think it's like a jail spell, essentially. Like, imprisonment, you're just like um, in a box. Higher box? Would have been... Right, uh, somebody. Yeah, so, are we still playing? Well, our options are call it here for the night. Or wait for Milk to get home, but I don't want her to rush. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with just hopping back on later, but I mean, it feels like nope. I mean, I'm just, I mean, you could role play with Y, but I mean, there's not real much for him to do. And without, I mean, at this point, without Milk to hear that. So. We could call it here for the night or hop back on or just sit another day. Well, I feel like you guys are going to have a little bit of revenge for Bell. Hey, I tried to let him go. You said, you made it clear. You know how you felt about the stuns. So I tried to be fair. And then I got attacked. That's true. That is true. 
should have just I should have just let it be you know but then again I can't just be having a three on one with a sorcerer we all know where that goes alright so uh, yeah. so I'll, I'll see you later or next week depending on which one sounds good buddy um, oh yeah. hey um, actually let me kill the uh, stream <laughs>